Hey everyone, Aiden here, and uh, welcome to Mega Man 10. There is so much more to this game. So, so much more. Uh, than what was in Mega Man 9. Uh, Story-wise, we're going to get this little cutscene here. Roll's not feeling too well. And, uh, well... There's a robo-virus going around called Robo-Enza. Society not being able to do anything without their robot helpers. Robo Enza ends up becoming quite the freaking uh, devastating bug going around. What's more is eventually. Uh, some of the infected robots end up going berserk, and yeah, they're trying to take over the world. What's more is, uh, well... Wily needs our assistance in getting his uh, cure-making machine back. And because of the effects of Rebel Winds uh, and the potential strength behind these robots, Mega Man is going to be getting the assistance of his brother Proto Man. So yeah, Proto Man uh, joins as one of the characters you can play as in this game. Uh, just like in Mega Man 9, but we have a third person. A, a third robot going through all of this as well. Uh, base, but he's doing things on his own. And honestly, it, on the original version of Mega Man 10, seeing as I'm playing on the Legacy Collection, uh, base was a uh, base, and a few other things were DLC. You had to buy them. But I'll go into all the stuff that was DLC and whatnot at another time, when it comes time to actually show them off. So yeah, we now have the plot for Mega Man 10. Let's get the show started. Also, one of the main, well, may as well show the player select. We have Proto Man, who has the same moveset he did in Mega Man 9. He has the charge shot slide, and he has his Proto Shoot, which can reflect a lot of different projectiles. Um, and as a result, probably due to his malfunctioning core, he is weaker. Like, he takes double damage. Uh, base, he has his, st uh, the same, uh, almost the exact same moves that he did in Mega Man and Base. He has the seven directional shot, uh, he can dash instead of slide. There's a few other differences. Only, like, 
one of the major differences between it in his moveset between this and Mega Man and Base is that he cannot double jump. But, eh. Let's choose Mega Man. You choose your character, then you choose your difficulty. Easy mode. That was another thing they that was new to Mega Man 10. They put a lot of uh, platforms over certain hazards and less enemies. They also take less damage, if I recall correctly. So yeah, it's a good way for starters to get used to the game, I suppose. But we're going to be playing on normal. There's also hard mode, which adds more enemies. We'll eventually do hard. Yeah, it won't take too long to get to that point. But here we are. We have our stage select. We have Blade Man, Chill Man, Nitro Man, Strike Man, Pump Man, Commando Man, Sheep Man, and Solar Man. We also have our shop. Welcome back, Mega Man. You can use the screws you've collected to purchase items from the shop. We have extra lives. Shows that we have two of them. Uh, energy tanks, weapon tanks, those refill their life. Uh, Mega Man's life and weapons or utilities, respectively. Like, each weapon tank only can refill one or more. Like, it, it can only refill one per tank. And then there's the mystery tank, which is a full health and all weapons and utilities restored. If everything's already full, if memory serves, using an M tank will actually give you an extra life. Kind of a waste of 50 screw uh, of uh, 50 bolts, but uh, whatever. The guard power up. Reduces damage you take by half for one stage. You have to use it from the item screen within the stage for you to get that, though. Uh, we have an Eddie Call. You can buy multiples of it, unlike Mega Man 9. And he'll show up and do exactly what he did in, uh, in the previous Mega Man games that he showed up in, except for Mega Man 8. Uh, he'll, he'll walk towards you and drop one of, uh, two different types of health energy, two types of weapon energy, an extra life, or one of the tanks. So yeah, it's interesting, it might help in a pinch. Uh, we have Beat, who, uh, just like in uh, the last game, he's not used to attack. He's used to basically save you from uh, instant death pits. If you fall into an instant death pit, or bottomless pit, whatever you wish to call it. Uh, if you have a beat call, he'll come in, swoop in, pick you up, and you can control where you place him, but only within a limited amount of time. Uh, shock guards protect you from contact with spikes. Each time you make contact with spikes, it takes away a shock guard if you have it. If you don't, you're dead. We have the energy balancer. The main thing I'm going to be saving up screws for. Just like with previous games that had it, it basically restores energy to the lowest weapon uh, without you even needing the weapon equipped. Once you pick up weapon energy. And then we have the Book of Hairstyles, which removes Mega Man's helmet, and for some reason that causes him to take double damage. So yeah, that's everything in the shop. So, there's a few places that are relatively easy to take on. Uh, start out with, I should say. But I'm gonna start with Chill. Uh, like, 
one of the cool things I like about this game, is I have played this game to death on, on, uh, the Wii, Wii, whatever you wish. And, uh... Let me tell you, this game, even though I... Ah, I am making a lot of mistakes right now. Men and shoulders. Ah. I should not be making this many mistakes. What was I saying again? Now, once you fall down that pit, make sure you hold right, otherwise you won't be able to make it up here without using a rush coil. And pray you actually land on the rush coil. And make it in here. Otherwise, you're gonna have to hold right instant you land on that ice block again, or you're falling through the spike. Womp womp. Eh, whatever. Now, oh yeah, but yeah, don't don't let this fool you with any of like the playthrough that you see me doing. Crushers, or big mamas, I think they're called. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, now we're taking the, uh, we'll take a little bit of a longer path, but... This is the path we will eventually be taking whenever we play on hard mode anyways, so, eh. But yeah, this game is not as easy as one would think. get some of that health back. I don't know why I am playing so terribly right now, but oh well. Yay for ice physics. Why... Oh my god. We might actually get a game over here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I should not be playing this poorly. I've played this game so freaking much. Technically speaking, I could have dashed, uh, gotten over to there quicker and just rush coiled up because Mega Man starts with the rush coil. <sighs> Wasn't fast enough. Thank you. 
We're almost to the boss. Thank goodness for that. Don't go too far to the left or you'll get another of those mini crushers respawned. Oh. Or that'll happen. Luckily, <laughs> you just barely, you can just barely make that jump. It's, it's just a bit of a pain to do. <laughs> But yeah, we're at Chill Man. Ah! Will you knock it off, Chill Man? I'm dead. It's like it knows I'm streaming. Or recording. What the hell? I should not be doing this poorly. Try this again. Okay, I'm doing much better this time around. And on the bright side, I mean, that's more, uh, more bolts for us to use in the shop after we're done with Chill Man. So, there is that. And this is what happens. First time I ever played this game, I just about gave up on it because I... Much like Mega Man 9, it gave me that much trouble. It didn't... It wasn't until I l learned how to get through this area as base that I actually uh, started to get the hang of uh, some of these stages. Yeah, one of the first things I did when I got this game was, uh, get the base DLC. These little guys are such a pain to hit sometimes. Might explain why they only take two hits. That's kind of why you don't want to spawn either of those type of uh, hoppers once you, uh... <laughs> once you get to that spot. Woo! Now this is much better. Almost no, I almost managed to beat him, no damage. Oh well. But now we have his weapon that he's been using. The chill spike. Yay. A nice little color scheme, I guess, for uh, Mega Man. A little bit of teal and turquoise mixed together. How many bolts do we have? Only 48. Okay.
What am I doing? I'll start. I'll, I'll put the uh, save data on. Now that we've beaten Chill Man, it's time to start going to. Uh, well, boss week order. Hey, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're doing well. So, we're heading to Nitro Man. He's a bit of a transformer of sorts. He can turn into a motorcycle. It's really cool. And I love this. Love this game. This is... <sighs> Careful of the, uh, of the freaking Joes here. They can and will be a bit of a pain. We also have a uh, quick weapon swap. Using the uh, left and right triggers. Really nice. Oh. Ah! Careful of the uh, incoming vehicles. They will hurt a lot. Now, you can freeze them with the chill spike, or... Or, uh, outright destroy them. If you, uh, place the chill spike on the ground, It will flat out destroy them. Now, you can ride this fella and just make sure you jump towards the. the, uh. the ladder. or hold up. Otherwise, you're gonna be planting face first into that, uh. into that bed of spikes. Now, I'm only gonna be grabbing those two bits of energy because I don't need them right now. Oh, now we've got trucks. Ooh. Come on, make it. Yes! Probably should have gone for that, uh... that would happen. You know what? It's good. I'm just gonna hit you right here. Ah, that's not gonna make it. That's why I was taking that path. Or trying to get up there. Oh well. See if I can make that jump. Nope. Oh well. The sh I don't care for those construction type robots. Ah! Say hi to Nitro Man now that we're here. Come on. Yes! This is the only way to use his weakness. Is to make him run over the spike instead of uh freezing him with it. Whoops, we'll just reset his attack pattern. So uh keep that in mind. But now we have his uh, wheel cutter. Honestly, don't use it a whole lot, but if you watch anyone speedrun this game, you'll be seeing it a ton. It is actually he really, really versatile in uh, scaling wall really quick. You might see me use it a few times here and there. Okay, good. I have just enough. Uh, 
Uh, yes, I will gladly take the energy balancer. Thank you! Okay. Patromen's done. Next up, we have Commando Man. Place that, uh... Honestly, I use for getting plenty of energy tanks for free and grinding up bolts. We, I'll show you where you can easily do that. Sadly, this game does not have uh, an exit module, so yeah, you have to make your way. You either have to make your way through. Uh, or get the game over in order to get out. So, yeah. Make sure you hug that wall as you fall down, otherwise you're gonna get hit by some shield attackers. It's not fun. So, this bottom path, it has, a. Uh, it introduces the sandstorm. This, there are two types. One that goes against, like you just saw there. Or... Ah. Fuck bomb. Uh, or, as you'll see in later screens, or if you took the upper path, uh... There's the kind that goes against. Now, these screws are only here on easy and normal. At least I think that they're on easy. I could be wrong. Uh, so here we have the kind that will push us back again. I'm playing a little risky just because I want to be able to get up here quicker. Hoping to make it up there sooner. And I'll take that damage. Get it. Now, once you pick up an item like the energy, uh, life or weapon energy in the stage, yeah, I'm ignoring this. I'm not good enough at this stage to use that to speed through. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh well. <clears throat> Here's Commando Man. As you can see from when he first uh, entered the arena, he uh, can make the screen shake and stun you if he does a full jump. So yeah, he's a bit of a heavy fella. Bit of a heavy fella. Well, now we have his missiles that he was shooting out of his particular cannon. It's called the Commando Bomb. You can change the uh, direction it's moving, say, three or four times before you can't input anymore. Could be wrong on that. But once it hits a wall, it'll spread out the shockwave. And that's the best way to damage enemies. With the shockwave. 
I'm gonna go ahead and buy the M tank just so I don't have to later. And we'll start saving up some money. Or actually no. I'm gonna buy me a shot guard even though I don't need it just yet. Fingers crossed. All right, Commando Man's done. Let's head into the castle and take on Blade Man. Just like with Mega Man 9, uh, there will be cutscenes after four and eight out. Robot Masters are defeated. So uh, yeah, these axes so pretty much. Luckily, they only take three hits, but still, that's a bit of a pain. Hey, Doc! I almost used up that shock guard I bought. Alright, picked up that big bolt. Always good to have extra bolts, just in case you need to buy any... anything. Now, that's to get used to these seesaw platforms. Oh, man. A lot of people, myself included, actually prefer to, uh... Not do the stage without the rust jet, which requires us to beat four of the robot masters. But how you been, Doc? And we have our first mini boss, the Tri Castle. Shame on out. Don't have Pump Man's weapon. This would be a joke. Heck yeah. Uh, I hate you so much right now, Tri Castle. And just like Super Mario World, goodbye, Castle. I love that. So much. Art can be pretty fun, though. Okay. You need to quit. No! Oh, great. Now I got two of these freaking things hopping around. Nope. I'm about to die. So glad it goes over that platform. It just makes it a little bit easier to get on there. Just a little bit. We made it. The rust coil's fine. Everything's fine. Would've been nice if we dropped a uh, large health on there. Luckily, if we make it to the end of this part of the stage, we'll, uh, we'll get that, uh, health energy. One more obstacle, and it's boss time. 
Uh, just because I'm low on health, I'm not gonna try taking them on with the, uh, Commando Bomb just yet. Just in case he gets, uh... Ah. I'm half tempted to go ahead and take a death. Never mind. I'm good. We beat him. Time to get that triple blade going. Oh. We got one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, much like the, uh... Magma Burner, I think is what it was called from Mega Man 9. It shoots in a free spread. But unlike Magma... Uh, unlike Magma One's weapon, it shoots... One straight, one sort of diagonally, and then one really diagonally. And if you're mid-air, it will shoot downward. Dead. So... But if you're up close, oh boy, can you lay on some damage. I'll buy a couple energy tanks. Won't be using them just yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll come in handy later. But we got ourselves a cutscene now that we've beaten four of them. Roll's not feeling too good. Thanks to you, I was able to create a prototype of you. Once we have all the pieces to the machine, we can start mass producing the medicine. I think everything's going to be okay. So yeah, time to get the remaining parts from these robots, or robot masters. Now, if you're going helmetless, I do believe this cutscene is different. Mega Man, are you sure you're not suffering from any symptoms of robot So yeah, Mega Man still is yet to see any side effects of it. And... Mega Man being Mega Man saying give the robot uh, give the cure to any robots who really need it right now. Alright. Let's go, Strike Man. Time to head to the stadium. Play ball. We have a lot of sports-based weapons here. Careful of the blue pitchers because they, uh, their, their shots will, uh, uh, their, their pitches are a bit of a curveball, literally. They will throw it and just like the red, it'll curve upwards, but then it'll stop and go to wherever Mega Man is. So, yeah. I'm gonna put triple blade to work. No. Goalies. And yeah, that's what they're called. And with that, triple blade is already back up. You're about to... You might see me use some of it, uh, some of the wool cutter just to get up quicker on some of these parts, but it's not that important right now.
Make sure not to get hit by these, or it will really, really hurt. How many lines do I have? Three? Up across the tops of these. Make sure not to touch the spike. And drop on in for a second round against the goalie. This time, uh, no. Uh, parts of it are, ah, I messed up. Uh, parts of it are, well. Okay, go. Okay, good. Health. So much health. Yes. I'll go ahead and show just how badass the, <laughs> the wall cutter just zoop. One up. One less for me to buy uh, when we're at the end of the game. already. Can you believe it? This game is pretty short if you know what you're doing. Now be careful. Ah. His pitches will bounce around and every time it hits the ceiling it will zoom in. It'll go in on Mega Man if I recall correctly. And then he will do a double bounce, and on his third bounce, it will alternate between a high bounce, which you will have to go under, or a long bounce, which you could also go under, but I, I find that one e somewhat easier to stay away from. Now we have the rebound strike. Uh, hard to really say anything good about it, but it does get more powerful the more it bounces, and it'll bounce about four times before it disappears. Uh, yeah. I'll buy three of those shock guards. Because, yeah. I'm a bit of a klutz when it comes to dealing with spikes. Okay. Now, we've beaten Strike Man and got the rebound striker. It's time to tackle Sheep Man. The electric face robot map for the uh, game. And whoo! We're in the data scape practically. We have disappearing blocks. Careful, those spikes do count as actual spikes. Right? Yeah, I'm not wasting Rust Jet. Not on that. And I always... ...end up forgetting which one... ...I am trying to do. Uh, which way I'm trying to go. Like, which way leads to what weapon. Okay, so it's like that, is it? Some of the triple play can pierce. But I'm not fond of using it for that purpose. I'm really not. I'll let that guy scroll off screen because I don't want him to connect with that little device there on the ground. If you're hurting for health, quickly make your way up there. Because these things are on a time limit. The 
the wrong way again. Alright, so. Fingers crossed I've landed in the right spot because I can potentially one-shot this guy. And I messed up. Should be almost dead, though. I messed up again. That embarrassing. Oh well, won't be using the commando bomb anymore for this stage, so. that jump without those platforms active, but eh. Time to deal with some Yoku blocks. So much fun! Yay! Well, that was rather nice of it. Ah, yes, this part. You gotta be fast so you can fall into those spikes. So much fun. What? Got refilled. Okay. Well, we ain't getting that weapon tank. We are getting that big bolt, though. Oh! Alright. Got the rebound striker ready, and I will be right back. Let's beat up, uh, Sheep Man. He only has three methods of attack. Oh, wow. Now, if you want to know which cloud he's in, you can wait for... Ah. You can wait for the last cloud to move, and that's what uh, how you know which one he is. Know your angles, and it actually kind of becomes a joke. I recently um, had a really, really smooth fight against him, and I think I'm going to splice in that clip uh, on the edit. So, and I, I unintentionally pulled some rather cool moment during the fight.
I'll buy a couple of those. Uh... I'm really hoping my HDMI cable's not going out, because audio just cut out for a moment on my end. Alright. I shouldn't need to buy any more energy or weapon tanks. If I buy anything else, it's probably going to be more shot guards or beat bolts. We've only got two Robot Masters left to beat. Now that we beat the cheap man, though, it's time to go after our our water-based enemy, uh, Pump Man. Going through the sewers, of all places. Anyone who has played Mega Man X will easily recognize this place as something very similar to Toxic Seahorse's stage. I think it was X3. Maybe X2. New types of mentors. Do not... Whatever you do, do not get hit by the purple gunk. Oh, you get to deal with uh, ice physics. Yay! I'm just gonna grab those. Actually, no. 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 I'm rust jetting this. The hell with this screen. Make sure you hold up whenever you're underneath some of these, because, yeah, they will, uh... Push you down. Wasn't sure if I was gonna make that. I am so glad these mats are being really cooperative right now. You cheeky freaking mat. Well, no. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Not. I like the attention to detail as as a uh, beat is getting closer and closer to the um, to the end of him uh, being able to carry Mega Man, he starts getting all flustered because he's... Oh, Mega Man's rather heavy. As are most robots, mind you, but still. Get rid of that one first. Yay, I got hit with the purple gun. Oh, blessed health. Yay. Ooh, more health. We're almost out. Ooh, double. Oh, that was great. That was actually really, really nice. Uh... And we're at the boss. Just like that. I actually really prefer it that way. Oh. I prefer taking that path in the lower path. It is just that much of a pain. Now, the clouds themselves are not the, uh, the threat. It's the lightning that needs to hit him. And he is not letting me do the double damage. Alright.
Goodbye, Pump Man. Oh. Gotta love it when the Robot Masters don't want to cooperate, huh? But now we have the shield weapon of the game. Water shield. And now for... My favorite stage, but my least favorite robot master. As far as fights go. There we go. I think we are set for it. But time to deal with Solar Man. Hope you enjoy the uh, music for this stage. It's probably one of my favorites in this game. So high impact. Ridiculous just how well that freaking works. Whoops. That happened. Well, we got some of that will cutter back at least. <laughs> Four hits to take care of the freaking flowers once they uh, open their petals to shoot. Now, if you have Water Shield and don't mind using it, you can easily get through this section. And time for Suzak, or Phoenix and Suzak. Look how quickly Triple Blade just takes care of these things. So. It's just that broke. I love it. Kind of wait for it to go back up. Yeah, that's what I get. I did it again. I did it again. Usually quicker about it. Not gonna lie. It is so easy to get hit by those. Those chains key those chain keys are not easy to deal with. Done dealing with those devil blocks. I don't know what to call them. I really don't. Now who? Okay, played. If you have Commando Bomb, take this left hand one and just head up. I don't remember if there's any other weapons that take care of that wall, type of wall, but Commando Bomb is probably the easiest of the ones to use. In regards to that. I think the other was the. Uh, was the Thunderwolf, but I'm not entirely sure on that. But, 
Here we have Surler Man, whose gimmick is that sun on his on top of his head. Uh, if you shoot it, it will actually increase strength, which will increase the power of those. So yeah, there's that's that's basically his gimmick. He will put his head towards you, trying to get it hit by anything other than water shield, which will strengthen it. But yeah, we uh, we've beaten all eight robot monsters now, so yeah. played the game, you know what those last three spaces are, but we're not going to have those for a while yet. Because you can't get those last three spaces filled in on uh, regular playthroughs. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know what I was about to say. Oh. Mega Man's not feeling good. The world, like 80% of the world's robots are malfunctioning from robo -Enza. That's pretty crazy. And the medicine making machine is gone. Go quick and figure. Damn it, Wiley. the world, I hope you're enjoying the effect of my little robot ninja virus. There are me robots who want the cure. All you have to do is come work for me. And don't think Mega Man is going to save you like he usually does. He's come down with a nice case of robo -Enza himself. Now will you finally... Now you will finally see the true genius. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Looks like Doc is feeling a little ill himself. I known this was Dr. Wiley's doing all along. Oh. So, oh. This is rather heartwarming. Roll, who is infected and ha has the prototype cure. Hands it over to Mega Man to use. I was saving it in case a really sick robot was brought in. But if she uses it, she still can't stop Dr. Wily, at least in terms of these games. You, think you can stop him. Be back enough medicine for everyone. And like that. Mega Man is back to working order. Let's go stop Dr. Wily. And yes, the cutscene will play every time you load up your save. From this point on. I'm trying to recall whether or not saves actually allow you to uh, continue while you left off at the Wily Castle, but I don't think it does. Ooh, some diverging paths. So, this stage, the boss is actually in multiple rooms. Go away, you stupid freaking thing. I said go away. I don't want Be right back. Alright. Uh, what the hell is this thing called? 
So... There, it, there are uh, multiples of this boss throughout the stage, and you have to defeat three of them in order to beat the stage. We're going to be dealing with the weapons archive. There are... Uh, we're going to be dealing with each of these capsules using the data from one of the Robot Masters 1 through 9. Got this one down. Thank God Woodman is a joke in this. So yeah, first three were Elect Man, Woodman, and Gemini Man. Time to deal with the uh, weapons archive that has Mega Man, uh, robot, uh, robot Master from four, five, and six. Ring Man, uh, what was it? Napalm Man. No, I'm not restarting that section. No. And, uh, Flame Man. Luckily, dealing with them is probably the easiest of the weapons archive, in my opinion. A for I frames, I suppose. I kinda miss the ability of the, uh, of the, uh, the Hornet Chaser from 9, being able to grab stuff, same for the magic card, and, uh, Mega Man and Base. Got a bit of health, gotta make it a pretty fair distance to make it there, though. And I'm at max lives, so there's no point in going up. Bike drop. We're almost in the clear, y'all. As far as this stage goes. Only one more set of weapons archive, which has seven, eight, uh, a robot master data from seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's see who it brings out first. I'm honestly hoping for Blizzard Man because he's a little bit harder to deal with. Yes! Tornado Man. Uh... Now for my least favorite fight. So freaking 
much. I hate fighting the Slash Man part of the weapons archive. I really do. It is such, such a pain. And its weakness is the the spike part of the uh, chill spike. You have to get it to land on that. It's impressive watching speedrunners do that fight, and it is just, they take care of it so quick. It's not even a joke. Like there's there's no joke. Oh. That UFO you just saw, there are a few strewn out throughout the stage, and if they spot you, they change the direction of the, uh, of the conveyor belt. I'm gonna get my, uh, Replenish my, uh, or restore that E tank I used earlier. Worth it. <laughs> Sadly, com uh, the commando bomb uses up a ton of, uh, energy. That's what I wanted to see. We have one more, one more mini boss left, and we will practically be done dealing with any mini bosses. Time to deal with Octobulb one last time. Damn it. These things are in the way. Well, so much for one shot in the Octobulb. Wow, I haven't had Octobulb give me this much trouble in a long time. Oh well. It's time to use an instinct. Take the right hand path and, uh,. As this goes, we just picked up another M tank. Nope, I am not falling down there. Fuck you, game. I want that health. That jump makes me nervous every time. Every time. Main reason why I stock up on uh, spike guards. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, good. It was that pattern. I'm gonna wait for that one. Thank you, B. Now, 
say you are low on um, on extra life. Use a rush coil and uh, hop on in. There's a one up in here. So, nice little bit of detail there. Now we get to deal with Crab Puncher. He has two weaknesses. Both of them have to be hitting the eyes to damage him. The Commando Bomb, or the Thunder Wolf. I really, really despise this boss sometimes. Uh, using the Thunder Wool is so awkward, I'm actually somewhat surprised that that is not Wily's weakness at the end of the game. Because of his tendency to make his machine, his uh, capsule's weakness the most awkward thing to hit with. Oh, I love this song so much. Wrong one. Uh... Chill Spike. And then... Thunder Wolf. Yeah, I know I've got the Energy Balancer, but I like to make sure that some of the stuff I'm actually going to be Uh, is... Topped off, or close to topped off. Almost lost this rock guard. Put a little bit into the uh, plate, and uh, just in case some mishap happens, I'm filling up that. Uh... That rust jet. Just to make sure I make the jump. Alright, but Thunder Blade uh not Thunder Blade, triple blade. I don't know why I was thinking Thunder. That that was rather silly. So we're almost to the end of the stage once again. Almost in the clear. Uh, 
<laughs> Wasn't expecting one of those blades to hit that uh, flower. That extra thunder wall might actually help in the upcoming robot uh, robot rematch or bot robot master rematch. Ah, yes, this fight. Meet the Black Devil. This is one of the best spots to stand. It's one of the one on the far right. I mean, far left. And that part right there is the main reason why. I, uh, stay in that spot. <laughs> I don't like letting it live this long. Which side is it even going to be on? Because now it's going to appear down in the bottom. The strain. Make sure you are not on any of those three platforms on the side. Because uh, it, once you kill it, they're gone. And you will fall to your death unless... Uh, I don't know what will happen if you have a beat hole during that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried it. And I, I'm honestly a little wary of trying it. Everything is full up. We are ready to tackle the robot, uh, the uh, the boss rush, pre match fights. Yay! <laughs> Woo, so much fun climbing up this tower. What got restored? Oh, the rust coil. Gotcha. Okay. Just because he's a bit of a pain. We're starting with Solar Man first. I don't I don't wanna do this. I don't like fighting Solar Man at all. But luckily with his weapon he's in I was hoping to not use as much water shield, but Oh well. And just like that, he's done. Hmm. You know what? Let's go say hi to the chill man. You gonna hop at me? Okay, cool. I'm not using up any more of that. No way, no how. 
Matter of fact... Okay. Cheap man time! Luckily, each of the Robot Masters capsules for their rematch is in the exact location that they're on on the uh, stage select screen. I'm not meaning to do this! <laughs> I was not meaning to do that. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that happened in that clip I was talking about that I'll be splicing into the uh, stream at the end of the first uh, fight, just to show it off. It it's rather silly. Oh, okay, let's see. Who was this one? Is there another one below it? Pump oh, Man. Oh, Commando Man. Right, right. How could I forget Commando Man? Of course you're starting with that attack. Why wouldn't you? Quick ahead. Time to deal with Pump Man. We're almost to the Wily Machine fight. Not the Wily Capsule, but the Wily Machine. Oh, you took away my frickin' Sheep. Okay, you're not cooperating whatsoever this time. No, I'm not letting him get away with this. You know what? Screw this. He's pissing me off. Spike. Hello, Natural Man. Ooh, you only went for it three times that time. Knock that off. Oh, luckily we. I've saved what I consider to be the easiest one to deal with, but with uh, if, you have, if you're using his weakness for last. I hardly ever take any damage to him on the roof fight. This time he's going for a bit of a pirate motif. I, I kind of dig it. I, I definitely like it more than that stupid freaking dinosaur motif he had in the last game. Now his second form, this one's a bit of a joke. Well, this, this, this game... As far as the Wily Machines, they're, they're pretty easy, in my opinion. not realize that uh destroying that thing would damage him a little bit okay cool 
At least that's what it seemed like to me. Now for something that made me pause the game the first time I ever played it. Like, I had to pause for a good while because this made me laugh. Pretty well. That's uh, pretty hard. It still gets a good chuckle out of me. <laughs> uh. And you're not seeing things upside down. We're on the ceiling. Wasn't paying attention. You know what? I don't know why I grabbed that. I really don't. I'm gonna be topping off with an M tank anyway. So, actually, since Chill Spike is maxed out, I'm not going to even bother topping off with the M tank. There's no need. Time to finish this game. We can tell which one's obviously the fake, and that's kind of what we're doing. We're, we're having to hit the real one. Oh my god, Wiley. See who loses their life first, Wiley. <laughs> One more hit and I would have been done. I was purposely not using a knee tank during that uh, there at the end. Oh. And now because of the anti-gravity, Wiley finally reached the ceiling. <laughs> but we've got him now, and uh, he's got a fever too. You got a fever. Did you catch the Robo virus? A human, not a robot. Oh, God. But Mega Man rushes him to the hospital, and a few days later, that siren will never not be annoying to me. Eh, whatever. Wily has escaped once more, but, uh... He left a ton of the robo insecure On his bed. It's rather nice of him. I guess it's just payment for, uh, Mega Man get, uh, taking him to the hospital so he can get better. I don't know. I honestly think that that's showing that Wily does have a bit of a conscience. I'm not gonna lie. Oop. This is going to be a long series as far as Mega Man 10 goes. For this play. Uh, for this, uh, Let's play. Because I still need to go through normal mode as Proto Man and as base. I also need to, uh... Do 
do the regular challenges and the normal challenge, uh, the uh, extra challenges. Time attack for uh, the extra three stages, because there is that. And hard mode for all three characters. If I didn't say that one already. I'm a little scatterbrained right now. So yeah, there is a lot to this game. The only regular challenges because they they introduce challenges that you can just select and do instead of achievement based challenges. Which are also still here in Mega Man 10. Um But they they added more challenges that you can do on the regular Mega Man 10. Uh that you can do that can get you used to using certain weapons, what have you, get you used to mini boss and boss patterns. It's really cool. And I look forward to showing that off before I do the time attack and well actually no. I'll be showing that off before I do the extra time. After I'm done with these three characters, normal playthroughs, I'm gonna be doing time attack. Uh, showing off the three special stages uh, that only Mega Man can go through. Uh, then I'll be doing hard mode for each of the three characters. And then I'll show off the uh, extra challenges, uh, regular challenges and extra challenges. I don't want to show off the regular challenges until I beat hard mode. Because there are some things within there that don't show up unless you've beaten the bosses on a certain difficulty. So, yeah. Hard mode is going to be a lot of fun, and you're probably going to be seeing me spraying up a storm when I eventually get around to uh, Proto Man hard mode. But we'll see when that time comes around. That's the only thing concerning Mega Man 10 I have never beaten as far as like playing through the game. is a uh, Proto Man hard mode. That's oh. those Wily stages. Primarily that Slash Man. That Proto Man hard mode is the primary reason I hate that Slash Man part of the uh, weapons archive. If I can get past that, the rest shouldn't be too big. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, man. It started off a little iffy, but we're it, it, it eventually got to where we're starting off strong for the entry to Mega Man 10. We beat it in uh, game time just under an hour. That's not too bad. I think the quickest I've done is about 50 minutes, so not bad. Normally, until you, like, on the Legacy Collection, or if you don't have the base DLC on the uh, regular version of Mega Man 10, uh, base will not show up on this screen. Uh, there's also a code you can put in if you don't want to beat the game to unlock base on the Legacy Collection. So... But, yeah, this, this is... This is the end of uh, the first playthrough. 
thanks for stopping by. It was definitely a blast playing this. Love this game. It's probably my favorite in the classic Mega Man uh, franchise. <laughs> 